Hi, it's Kevin LaBates here, and today I want to talk a bit about why I'm not worried about things like transaction rates or the ever-growing sizes of blockchains. Um, and the reason is that, as I've said uh, several times before over the last couple of years, we are still in the very early stages of blockchain. And what I want to do here is draw a comparison with uh, computing. So I got my hands properly on a computer for the first time in 1981 on the ZX81 computer, and it had one kilobyte of memory. And the next year, the school shelled out some money and bought a uh, RAM pack and um, increased it to a whopping 16K. So uh, that was my first experience of programming, and you hit the limits very, very quickly when you were writing a program. You couldn't do anything particularly sophisticated. Um, so fast forward by about uh, seven or eight years, and I got my first proper PC, and uh, that had a hard drive, and the hard drive on that was 40 megabytes, which seemed like an immense amount of storage space, and the uh, hard drive itself was about the size of half a shoebox. So um, now, moving forward to today, I uh, just threw out an 8 gigabyte SD card, that uh, a micro SD card that's smaller than the size of my uh, little fingernail, um, because it's pointless for me to keep such a small storage device hanging around. Um, I don't want to put anything of value on it because I'll probably lose it. And uh, I've got a bunch of 256 gig um, and uh, 128 gig SD cards anyway. So uh, that let's see, that's in the space of 40 years. We've gone from one kilobyte of storage space to being able to have uh, a couple of terabytes on something that's much much smaller than the original device and uh, of course there's a similar parallel with um, network connectivity right um, my uh, first modem uh, was a box that uh, plugged into the side of the computer and uh, beeped and whistled when you turned it on and um, I think we were looking at uh, 24 kilobits a second and uh, now I'm walking here with a phone and I can get a hundred megabits per second um, and uh, the device is always on. So um, these things just move ahead rapidly and uh, it's one of these uh, cases where uh, when you look at what you can achieve in a month or a year it doesn't seem to be very much but when you look at what you achieve over a decade suddenly um, the improvement is astonishing. I mean it really really things move very very quickly on what effectively are medium time scales much quicker than you expect so uh, that's why I'm not worried about uh, all the current limitations on transaction speeds and uh, storage space of uh, blockchains because um, I think we're only a decade in um, uh, this day in 10 years time, I think you're going to look back at now and we're just going to be magnitudes, orders of magnitude, uh, better off than we currently are. Anyway, that's just a uh, short video on uh, how quickly things change and how significant those changes are. Hope you found it interesting and see you in the next video soon. Bye for now.